that. See, I started out at SFU as a biology major, and that led me to my first co-position in the B lab here at SFU. And in that position, I got to work both in the field, collecting data, data being computers, of course, um, and in the lab, analyzing that data. And I think it was about the time that I was standing knee-deep in a puddle of mud, and my rubber boots ripped <laughs> for the third time. <laughs> that I decided I really didn't like field work. <laughs> <laughs> but um, working on my own research project and doing statistics in the lab were things that I really did like. And so in true biologist fashion, at the end of that co-op term, I really had to dissect my co-op experience, take out the things I didn't like, field work, um, and analyze what was left. And I realized it was time to change my major. And so that's when I switched to the faculty of health sciences. So with the new major in hand and the top job market out there, I really had to be creative and decide what was I going to do next. And it ended up at the Street Christmas Bureau, a nonprofit association that gives aid to low-income families at Christmas time. And one thing I loved about this position was going out to the community at events and representing the organization. I worked with great volunteers, and I loved how people in the public would come up to me and share with me their stories. They would tell me how this organization has changed their lives. And that was really beneficial to me in the short term because I got to really understand the impact of the organization, which was helpful when I was writing grant applications, for example. Um, but in the long term, it really helped me appreciate the importance of listening to people and knowing their needs so that you can help them. So now, I'm five months into an eight-month co-op here at WorkSafe PC. And WorkSafe is a great place to work. They really live their mandate of health and safety. There's an on-site gym, a healthy cafeteria, and I don't know anywhere else that manage flip flops not because they're unprofessional, but because they're a safety hazard. And my job, more than being a great place to work, my job is really a great combination of my two previous co-op experiences, which you would think are very really different. Um, but I develop educational resources for workers and employers to make uh, safer workplaces. Um, and I couldn't do that without the research skills I gained to being a lab assistant. And I couldn't do that without really being able to understand the people who I need to help, mainly workers. And so if there is a moral to my story, it's that you can make any co-op position work for you. Um, you just need to think critically about your past and creatively about your future, what's coming next. And so, and when you find yourself literally stuck in the mud, remember you create your own story. Thank you.